This is a request from a subscriber asking could I show him how to place 3D text on a rotating globe. Well GIMP has all the tools to do just that. So you need to load, load a file, new, and it needs to be square and a reasonable size. So we type in 1000 pixels and the height also 1000 pixels. Else the, uh, the globe won't turn out round. Now we close. Now I go to colors. I choose a green this time. Click OK. I choose my blend tool and go to shape and the down arrow click on it and we need radial. This is because you won't need both edges on the same blend. So I put the a cursor in the middle and just drag it out to the edge. That's give me the blend. I even colour both sides so that the filter can make a nice round globe without any seams. So now the next thing we do, we go to text. And we need to change your colour to something nice and bright, so I'll go to red. Click OK. Now you need a fairly bold type of text, so I'll go to the text corner there and I choose Sans Bold. And I know I can increase it to 38. Now place it on the side here, cursor, click once, hit the space bar to give you a bit of space, otherwise, you won't have the uh, nice 3D text. Now type in your text. I go to the text layer in the layers channel, right click and alpha to selection. Now go back here and change my colour back to black. Go to edit and stroke that text with two pixels. Stroke. Go to select and turn it off. Now I duplicate that layer. Now I go to filters, blur, motion blur in this case. And my motion blur, I move the length up to 10. and the angle to 15. This all depends on the size of your text. Click OK. Now repeat that five times. One, two, three, four, five. Come down to the, to the uh, main text layer, that one there. Now this is a little trick in GIMP. If you hold down the shift key and you're going to move a layer up to the top, just hold down the shift key and hit the up arrow and it puts it straight to the top. Now you can see the, the type of 3D text you've got there. Now I'll right click the top layer and flatten the image. Now because it's a Merry Christmas uh, message, I've went and got a little bit of clip art. So I'll go to File, open as a layer, and it's sitting on my desktop. That's the clip art there. Click OK. Now I need to take the white out to make it transparent. So I right click the layer and add an alpha channel. Now I choose my select by color tool and click in the white. And go to return to your keyboard and hit delete. Now go to select and select none. Now I click on my fuzzy selection tool, click in there where the white should be and just drag it over and drop it in there. There's another one here, drag it over and drop it in there. Now we need to do his, uh, the sleeves of his coat. Once again we click on the area, 
drag it over, drop it in, and once again on the other side. Now go to select and select none. Now I need to resize this, so I'll go to my resize tool and drag it down to a size that'll fit the, your what you've got on your globe will be on your globe. So you click scale, go to the move tool, click move the active layer radio button and move it into place just above your text. Now we have a little bit of clip art in place, right click the top layer and flatten image. Now we go to filters, animation and spinning globe. Now I put in 15 frames, now click OK. Now it goes through and renders this for 15 frames and builds it into a globe. There's our job completed. It puts it in a new file. Now we go back to filters and see what we've got. We go to filters, animation and playback. Click the playback button. Now there's your 3D text on a rotating globe. I'll close that off. Now we go and save that to a file. We go to File, Export As. Now it needs to be a GIF file. That gives you the animation in a uh, web browser or any other viewer. So you click on that down arrow and select your extension. There's a GIF. Click on it and give it a name. and click export. Now you get another little dialog box it wants to know whether you want animation or not you click yes click on the as an animation. Now the uh, delay between frames are usually defaults to 100. I increase this to 200 so you can read all the text as it rot rotates. Click export. When you click on the file, it will open in a image viewer and you can see now we've got that nice little scrolling global message. You will find a hard copy on this procedure on the website listed below.